Hi, welcome to Panera and Rain's Core Visit Presentation. To keep things interesting, we decided to get uh, uh, take a theme from with uh, comic book heroes as well. So, uh, as you can see in the background, we have Judge Dredd. He represents the judiciary, the judge, the jury, and the executioners. So, in the following slides, we will have this as well as what we've learned in our court visit presentation. Um, this is Manhunter, um, who is keen to tackle crime, um, and especially in the community. Um, and the case summary is um, Exeter City Council versus Belcher, where there's a dispute between a disabled woman and her neighbours. Okay. Um, so this slide covers ethical issues, and I, we felt that the best comic book character involved in the legal system that best represents the struggle to find the balance and in ethics would be Harvey Dent, also known as Harvey Two-Face. Um, in the case of Exeter City Council versus Belcher, um, the ethical issues in play were uh, the welfare for children. Uh, so the um, children's welfare wasn't really being taken into account by the adults taking legal action. There were also um, community balance and the effect on neighbours handling of disabled persons, um, cost of the council, as well as consideration of effect of judgments on the disabled defendant. So, representations of power, we have the judiciary. For the judiciary, we have the judge. For the executive, uh, we have the Exeter City Council. And what, is no, uh, what we notice is that regardless of the council's authority outside of the courts, inside the courts, it's the courts that say, yeah, and so the court council defers the court decision to uh, the council defers the court decision for purpose of the case, and this is a clear example of separation of power. So the picture right here is Ronan, the supreme public accuser of the Cree Empire, and he represents the powers of yeah the judiciary of the Cree Empire. Okay, this is Cable, and uh, he revealed that he passed the New York Bar after graduating Harvard Law School in 1988. Um, he uses the uh, codename Cable as a metaphor to link him between the future and the present. And in this way, the courts are very similar to Cable. They try and use futuristic and up-to-date technology in the courtrooms. Uh, the technology that we encountered in our court visit, we um, saw a desktop computer, which was quite simply used for the documentation of the court proceedings. Uh, we uh, encountered a telephone, which was just used for... Um, communications between the clerks and the um, courts, and also for the confirmation of the next hearing date. And we encountered security cameras, which are obviously used to um, document and proceed over court hearings. Uh, we feel that this was a fairly modest use of technology, because in some crown courts you um, have video clips of interviews, and sometimes even you have live feeds, which, need to, uh, which are for using for um, cross-examining witnesses in separate rooms. And, um, Finally, we feel that technology is extremely important in modern courtrooms. Uh, one, for the protection of vulnerable victims, such as in rape cases, and uh, two, to keep court proceedings quick and punctual. All right, this is the Living Tribunal, and she is the Supreme Judge of all the most universe in Marvel. And she is the judge for the reality, so she's the adjudicator and the arbitrator, if you will. And basically his job is to maintain balance in the Marvel Universe. So, and the role of the adjudicator is to let in between parties, arbitrator, to consider the need to use court resources wisely and to encourage sustainable resolution. Um, this is Foggy Nelson, who is another fictional character in Daredevil. And he plays uh, kind of a psychic and protector of Matt Murdock, who is Daredevil. So how does this relate to the claimant and defendant representation? Well, in the case, uh, the claimants and the defendants were represented by solicitors and barristers, and uh, Nelson uh, is an attorney in their level, and he can function as both a solicitor and a barrister. Uh, so in this slide, we talk about the relevance of law to the proceedings that we observed. Um, and the superheroes in this slide are Wolf and Bird, and you know, two lawyers that represent supernatural beings. Um, and in most of the proceedings that they um, are involved in, they always have, there's a common factor of a consistent, consistent judiciary. 
Uh, and so to link this to what we observed, the judge um, sought to um, um, sorry. Um, Okay, the judge and the legal representatives present sought to um, look for any um, chance to have judicial continuity, continuity, um, and therefore having a good system judgment, as well as put, um, the dates for the preliminary hearings um, and for the next hearings. Okay, so I'm going to be talking about the resemblance of legal studies to our court visit. So the structure of the courts and the representations of power did closely resemble it, but unlike our actual studies, the visit was a bit more profound. Uh, but because it was in the preliminary stages, the dialogue was more like how we discuss cases in our seminars. As a skilled lawyer highly coveted in the legal courts, Jennifer Walters, aka She-Hulk, possesses the characteristics which we, as current law students, should aim to at least partially duplicate.